Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Conjuring 2. I was not aware that Annabelle was sandwiched in between Conjuring 1 and Conjuring 2. Thank you for everybody who told me to, one, watch them in order, which I didn't know that there was a, a baloney middle to the Conjuring sandwich, and I really do mean that it's baloney. Um, I, I did watch Annabelle. Um, I don't know when that reaction will be released, either the same day, same time, after, I, I definitely not before. Uh, this was my priority because it was the poll winner, um, but I, I felt like I had to watch Annabelle, and you will get my take on that movie. It didn't feel like it belonged. I'm just going to say that. Um, I am really happy to be back with James Wan, first and foremost, because I, I love his style of filmmaking. As you guys know, I just love James Wan. I love the way that he lights things, the shadows, the way he uses sound, the, the camera angles that he uses. Just everything that makes a James Wan movie a James Wan movie is like something that I just find very, uh, it's weird, but comforting. And somebody said comfort humor the other day and I was like, that's silly. And then I was like, it's not. Like after watching another movie in which he wasn't part of, I was like, wait a second. I, I get it now. Definitely there's something as comfort horror and James Wan does that for me. He makes me feel at home and I love that. Um, but I'm very happy to get Vera and Patrick back. I'm very interested in Ed and Lorraine's journey. Um, not only as them as actors, but then like knowing that like these people existed in real life. And I know like the capacity is definitely different. Um, and you know, I'm not a big like religion person. Um, but I, I do like enjoy this aspect of it. <laughs> I enjoy demons. I, is that something people say? Is, is that, is that what we're doing nowadays is saying that we enjoy demons? I'm here for it. Not their demon dungeon. That's creepy as hell. And I mean, it, it, the fact that it exists in real life is nuts. Uh, but <laughs> uh, I, I, I was told that this one uh, takes place in London. So uh, I, I don't know what to expect with that going with them going to another country. Um, but obviously based on a true story, again, not much of a believer, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. And a lot of you said that this one was either your favorite or it was better than the first. Um, and I feel like it's been hyped up a little bit. So y'all don't let me down. You never, you haven't, you never do. I just get scared that like, I'm not going to like it or I'm going to have higher expectations than I should because I feel like I went into Annabelle with really high expectations and then was kind of like, Okay, that happened. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, so I'm gonna jump into this. I'm excited. Back with Vera, back with Patrick, back with James. <sighs> I feel at home. I've got my rosé ready to go, uh, which a patient bought me a bottle of rosé. That's how much I talk about the rosé that I love is that a patient brought me a bottle of rosé to work. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so I'm going to drink. I'm going to turn the house lights off and we're going to get into it. Okay. I just realized that sometimes I look like I'm naked when I wear certain shirts because you can't see them. It's uncomfortable. Not the typical music I'm used to. I don't know if Joseph Bashara did the music on this. I know he did on Annabelle. After everything we've seen, there isn't much that rattles either of us anymore. Not surprised. But this one? See that James Wan camera. Oh. Amityville. I thought we were going to London. The Lutz family had fled their home in the middle of the night, claiming that the house was haunted. They wanted to see if we could confirm the activity that had been reported by the Lutzes. Okay, we ready? They just bring a big smile to my face. A young man named Ronnie DeFeo had brutally murdered his entire family in this house. That lighting. As Ronnie DeFeo testified in court, he had been under the influence of something demonic. She has really pretty eyes. Oh! 
did you do? What did you do? Oh. I love the way that this is filmed. Kids with creepy eyes, I don't dig it. Ooh, the rain and basements don't go together. <laughs> oh god! Oh! That mannequin is creeping me out. <gasps> Oh, I don't like it. Oh, ah. oh I don't like it. Was that Ed? Okay, so there's a movie called The Nun. That was The Nun, right? This is as close to hell as I ever want again. Ed and Lorraine Warren's investigation into the Amityville haunting sparked a media firestorm and catapulted them into the public eye. Meanwhile, a haunting that may that many would later compare to the Amityville was unfolding thousands of miles away in Enfield, in England. It would draw the Warrens into one of their most diabolical cases, based on the true story. The Conjuring 2. Yeah. Charlie owned England. Sorry if that was horrible. Hodgson residence. Hodgson? From your red mistress who says that you was caught smoking. I wasn't. I wasn't smoking, I promise. <laughs> Ashy smoking. Better quit messing with that and brush your teeth. Oh, all right. I never get tired of James Wan's filming style. I love it. I mean, that house looks like it should be haunted. Oh, where'd that come from? Camilla and I made it at school. I don't like Ouija boards. They creep me out. Is a demon gonna pull on her foot? What just happened? Oh God. I hope it's her sister. Stolen <laughs> You're pounding on the door. No. And Lorraine Warren talking about their experiences at the Amityville house. Listen, Ed Warren's never seen a house that he didn't think was haunted. That's not true. Blowing smoke and ringing bells, they've got everybody else believing in ghosts too. I want popping one. It's not going to show class. It's somebody who's sitting here telling lies about my wife and Be me. Be careful who you call a liar. What are you going to do about it? I like this side of Ed. Could you please take I a breath? I know, I know, I know. I'm counting to 10. I'm counting to 10. <laughs> now you may have a biscuit. Biscuit! <laughs> Alright, come on. Now don't eat too many of those or you'll wake up thirsty in the middle of the night. <laughs> Were they salty cookies? I've never heard this of Cookies waking you up in the middle of the night and making you thirsty. This house is so creepy. I love the way everything's lit. He looks thoroughly creepy in that window, by the way. Janet, please. Janet? Janet, wake up, you're dreaming. This is my house! No! No, Janet, who are you talking to? You have to go away. You're the one trespassing. Oh, Janet, wake up. <sighs> Stay away from Billy. Leave us alone, you idiot. Janet, what are you doing? There's no one here. Oh, 
Was that a poster of Neil Diamond? He scared me. Yeah, leave that on. I thoroughly believed when I was younger that lights would protect me and lining the bed with stuffed animals. If you tuck the blanket underneath your legs, Freddy Krueger couldn't get your, your legs with his knives. Yeah. Oh! Somebody was in that chair. Oh, somebody's gonna be in that teepee too, aren't they? Don't, you don't have to go check on it. No, just go, go to bed. Oh, sweetheart, please don't. It, curiosity killed the cat. You don't have to, oh, sweetheart, don't go look, please. <laughs> I don't want him to go look. Turn, turn a light on at least. Remember lights? They, they scare away evil things. Don't come out. Oh. Someone in my tent! What? That there's someone in my tent! I mean, obviously she's not going to see anything, but... See? Nothing. You just had a bad dream. That's all. There's someone in that chair. Ah. There's still somebody in that chair. Oh, it looks like one of the girls. Oh, Nelly gave me a heart attack. What are you doing down here? I think I've been sleepwalking again. What do you mean again? You're burning up. Come on. Is there a smell? Because it's a demon. <laughs> Come on. There's a creepy chair in a creepy corner in a creepy house. Oh. Beautiful transition. Oh, look at that remote. <laughs> and within minutes. Mr. Gentleman, I stand oh. before you. Yeah. I just ate some, I'm not really that hungry. Oh, that chair. I mean, it looked like something died in that chair. Something probably did die in that chair. Like that wall looks like there was a fire or something that happened right there. Like it's such a creepy corner. I love it. Keep it in your hand. So I thought there was gonna be somebody in the chair. Oh, I don't like where this is going. time with faces like when I can see a face and eyes it freaks me out oh my gosh just top her off a little hey yeah I couldn't sleep I had this crazy dream I saw this thing when I woke up I couldn't get out of my head <gasps> so. first of all great art Ed great art but terrifying yeah, I know I'm no Picasso but didn't think it was that bad. She really doesn't tell him anything, does she? We need to stop. We can still do the lectures, but no new cases. Do you trust me? You know I do. Please trust me now. Do you guys know me? <laughs> Well, she didn't go anywhere. Johnny? No, oh, the tent. You really want to go downstairs and look in that chair. Okay. <laughs> Where else is it gonna be? Oh, God. Oh god. I 
like it. I don't like it. What a crazy What are you talking about? <laughs> Tied up and biting. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. It's a joke. Calm down. Taking turns scaring the wits out of each other. No wonder I can't get a good night's sleep. Back to bed. The lot of you. <laughs> yeah, mom. Explain that. Top of the bottom. There's no one there. What about uh, Margaret and Janet's room? Did you? What's he doing? Oh, we've we've taught him to ring the bell when he wants to go. Do you want to let him out, Billy? No. Nothing better happen to that dog. Well, look, there has to be some sort of explanation. That's why we're here, okay? Um, yeah, go check that out. It's coming from inside the wall. Mice, maybe? Mice? Bloody mouse. Yeah. <gasps> mm. Excuse me, officers, explain that. Well, there's uh, <laughs> nothing we can do about that. You chickens! I think this is a bit beyond us. Yeah, a little bit. Is Judy well adjusted after her run in with Annabelle? Mm, she got some of her mama in her. She could sense that evil, huh? Hopefully it was evil. I mean, not hopefully. <laughs> I'd rather be your dad. Who's that? <gasps> it's the nun. I don't. I don't like possessed faces and crazy eyes. It gives me anxiety. Oh, it's that house. Oh God, damn it! It's behind her. It was just a painting. Is she gonna come out of the painting? I, I refuse to be surprised if she does. Why would he hang that on his wall? That's not peaceful. Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it! Oh god, the eyes. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Lorraine, she gonna walk out of that wall. <sighs> 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 Lorraine, how do you continue to be surprised by things is beyond me. Oh, please don't be right behind her. No! No! Oh, oh no, 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 don't become one. Oh, God. <gasps> oh. I don't like it. Oh, God! Oh god! <gasps> Sweating! No, she's in the basement again? Oh, oh. No, 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 no! <gasps> no! You cannot have Ed. You cannot have Ed! Okay. I'm glad you're okay. I'm not okay. I've been noticing a lot of V and K's, and I feel like she was just like scratching in a V in, in that book she was reading. I don't know if that means anything. I just keep seeing it. Leave Ed alone. Is it still happening? Because if it is, getting your side of the story out might be your best chance of finding help. That's how we get the Warrens in London. I recently interviewed Janet and her 14-year-old sister, Margaret. What happened next will astonish you. It's been getting worse since Mr. Grove started talking to it. I wonder what would happen if we tried talking to it now. Is anybody there? Is anybody there who wishes to communicate? <laughs> oh, poor Janet. Looks like she hasn't slept. Nothing. Well, it isn't a jukebox, is it? Right? Janet, are you all right? <laughs> Janet? Janet, are you feeling all right? 
Stop calling me Janet. Well, what should I call you? <laughs> this little actress is amazing. What is your name? My name is Bill Wilkins, and I'm 72 years old. Where do you come from? Hell. And I fell asleep and I died in the chair in the corner. Mm, mm, mm. Get rid of that chair and burn Why that corner. Have you come here? I like to hear them scream. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, but that'll make headlines. I th I thought you might like some biscuits. No, oh, I don't like that. Um, there's Bill and Billy. I do like Billy, the uh puppet from Saw. Um. A lot of Bills and Billies involved with James Wan's works. <laughs> the Crooked Man thing is like creepy anyway. Again, it's not the house, it's the people. Oh, the, the dog bell. Telling you, if they do anything to the dog, I'm gonna be mad. No, no! Oh god! Crooked man! What are you talking about, darling? The crooked man stepped forth and rang the crooked bell. Oh god, Janet. God. Not to be insensitive to children, but is the dog okay? My name is Bill Wilkins, and I'm 72 years old. The voice on this tape is coming from an 11-year-old girl. She wanted a break, but now she's on the case. The case has turned into a media circus over there. They're calling it England's Amityville. <sighs> Perfect for them. We'd like you to fly to London to act as our unofficial eyes and ears. If it is a hoax, you just turn around and leave. My question is, does does Lorraine tell Ed about the nun and the painting and like what happened in his office? There have always been cases we've turned down. There has never been a family that we refused to help. I had a vision in Amityville. Oh, now she tells him? Same one I had seven years ago. I had a premonition of your death. Wait, that's why you locked yourself away for eight days? You saw my death? I'm glad we finally know this. The demon in your painting is real. It's a warning. If we keep doing this, you're going to die. I feel like he's still alive in real life, so... If God is showing you my death, then he's doing it for a reason. Maybe you're meant to prevent it from happening. Mm. I don't even know what's happening to him when that thing's bursting out of him. Like, does he get hit by an iceberg? You have to promise me that we're just there to observe. Promise me, Ed. Promise her, Ed. I promise. Attaboy. <laughs> English cars in the 70s, they're just wild looking. This is where the girls used to sleep, but we don't use it anymore. That's a lot of crucifixes. Or is it a cross? Crucifix, cross. I don't know. It's synonymous. Mind if I have a seat? Janet went from very vibrant clothing to very like dark clothing. I like that costume design idea. You know, when I was about your age, um, I was visiting my mom at a hospital and I saw an angel. Of course, my mom and the nurses did not believe me, but I knew it was real. And look at you today. Talking to the spirits. I know what it's like to lose your friends because you're different. One person can change everything. How did you know you could trust the people you opened up to? Sometimes I got hurt and it took a long time, but I finally found someone who believed me. I married him. This is the spot that Janet said Bill Wilkins died. Where'd you get it from? My ex-husband bought all the furniture with the house when we moved in. Ew. They got a dead guy's chair? Gross. Do you know when the voice is going to speak? Sometimes. And when it does, does it feel like it's coming from inside you? 
More like it's coming from behind me. Mm. Does it ever say things just to you? It said it wants to hurt you. When did it say that? Right now. Um, Lorraine doesn't know that it's there. Um, do we really need that? Well, we'd like to be able to prove to the church that she's not making the voice herself. Mouth will be able to show that it's not some form of uh, ventriloquism. Interesting. What makes me sick to see her sitting there like that? It makes me sick to see her sitting like that. What do you want with this girl and her family? Afraid of Ed and Lorraine. It says it won't talk with you while looking at me like this. It wasn't shy the first time. Why now? So what do you think, Bill? We've given you your privacy. Now come on out and talk to us. Am I talking to the spirit that's oppressing this family? Is that what I am? Is that what I'm doing? Now I've come to put a stop to it. Why don't you just leave these people alone? I come here to see my family. They're not here now. Was they able to transition that into Bill in the background? James Wan is amazing. Then why don't you just move on? I'm not a heaven man. We know. See, I don't care what you believe in. You see this? <laughs> Same. Help it let go! Janet. James Wan. I know there's other people that are involved in this, but come on. Are you sensing a presence? No, it's just the opposite. I'm not sensing anything. I can't explain it. My heart is telling me to believe them. I heard that voice with my own ears. I don't think I can sleep this far away from you. I was going to say, that's a little well, weird. Gonna, you know, I'll give you something to look forward to when we get home. <laughs> They're just leaving room for the Holy Spirit. Oh, love, I wish you wouldn't do that. It helps me sleep. At least I know I'm not going anywhere. I always wonder how only certain people hear certain things. Like, only certain people hear the knocks, and certain people hear things breaking or moving or whatever. So only she hears the whistling. Oh, God, where is she? <gasps> That's new. Please don't fall. Oh, not the rocking chair. Oh, Bill, go away. Just don't give me a close-up of his face. I just don't want to... I, I don't like close-ups of his face. No, 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 no. I absolutely love the way this is being filmed. <laughs> That's fucking wild. Oh. So the little Jesus sticks don't do anything, huh? Mm. Well, ain't that an F you to the church? What an amazing visual. Oh god! No! Help me! What's going on? Ed, kick the door in! You're like a superhero, come on! So, have any of you ever been bothered by a bully? Hmm. Pete at school. He's always picking on Billy. They s stick up for me. Good, because the spirit in this house is a lot like that bully. So, you guys gotta stick up for her, same way that they stick up for you. Oh, it was Dad's, but he said I could have it. Yeah, do you mind? I didn't know that Patrick Wilson could sing until someone told me in the comments, and then I went and listened to him sing. Busty, so you gotta promise not to laugh. Oh, I 100% am here for this. Wise <laughs> men say some things are meant to be this is not helping my crush on patrick wilson whatsoever or I can tell. it's too hopeful it's too happy oh my god, oh my god that camera <laughs> it's so small and light <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> it looks like it weighs a hundred pounds. No, I couldn't ask you to do that. It's a disaster down there. Come on, how bad can it be? They're experts with basements, might as well. Bloody hell. <laughs> That is exactly the creepy basement that I, I know. Oh, oh. The cold is the least of your problems when it comes to that water. I'm sure there's something disgusting in there. I hate water. I hate water. Whenever water's involved, there's a body, there's a face, there's something that grabs you and pulls you under. I, I don't like it. Oh, Ed. Oh, Ed. Ah! Bill! Does she see him? Oh, God. Oh, God, not Ed. Will you tell Ed somebody's there? There's something behind you. <sighs> Someone's gonna jump out of the water. Please don't jump out of the water. I knew it! So there's a face, or there's a body, something's grabbing somebody. You bit me the side just like he did, Janet. Do not be a denture. Oh, it's a partial. It actually looks like a flipper, if you want to know for sure. It's where the missing teeth are. <laughs> As a dental professional, I like it. It sounds like a knife sharpening. Tell me what you see. Such a good sister. It's a play with the knives. That's what it sounded like. Johnny. Yeah, Johnny hasn't time. been in the movie the whole time. Is this kid gonna die? We can't let bully us. I really don't want to see a kid die, but I believe in you, Johnny. Indeed. She's faking it. I have proof. What? So much for your leap of faith. <sighs> it's over. Do you understand? You couldn't have pulled this off alone. Oh, you think I put her up to this? No one to distance themselves from anything that remotely resembles a hoax. Get out, lot of you! But sometimes you need to make a leap of faith. Believe when nobody else will. Especially for these people. Help me set up these tape recorders. Here's the first one. Help. It's like... Listen to the second one. Me won't. Me. It won't let me go. It won't let me go. <gasps> It possess Bill? Who wants her so badly? I'm giving and I'm taking. But I'll follow you till death. I, I don't understand. Me either. Please, I. <laughs> that fing nun! An inhuman spirit powerful enough to cloud the rain sight is more than a match for me. Oh, the creepy basement. I can't lose you. I'm so scared. I know I made a promise to you, hon. But I have to do this. I love you, Lorraine. And no! That was too close to a goodbye for me. I don't want anything to happen to Ed. Please don't do anything to him. No!
And I wrote it down. V and K. V A L A K. It was in the house too, like when they were at the breakfast Relic. table. It was it was like right there. <gasps> no. No. Oh, it wasn't it wasn't what I thought it was. It was the tree. It was the tree. Oh my god, please don't kill Ed. Please don't kill Ed. I don't think it kills Ed, but I, I don't want it to kill Ed. <laughs> the Crooked Man is actually amazing. Oh, come on, Lorraine. Oh, God. I'm far too attached to these people. In tree. Jenny, no, 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 Ed, Ed. Oh God. Say your name. Say her name. Oh, God. Oh, man. I'm far too attached to Ed in, in the rain. Far too attached. Thanks for coming back for us. Oh. You said one person could change everything. I've got two. <laughs> The haunting of Enfield would go on to become one of the most documented cases in paranormal history. Peggy Hodgson would continue to live out the rest of her days in the Green Street house. Why? In 2003, she passed away quietly while sitting in a chair in the living room. In the exact spot where Bill Wilkins had died 40 years earlier? Jesus. Demon dungeon. The Crooked Man. Oh, Annabelle. Directed by James Wan. Oh, I thought that was Maria Doyle Kennedy. Such a small part for her. Such a great actress. Music by Joseph Bishara. It's my boy. Demon, Joseph Bishara. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Holy shit, that was good. Okay, so definitely um, James Wan at the helm of these movies is necessary. Um, uh, everything about this, from the lighting to the way it was filmed, the coloring, uh, the, the shots on the ceiling, the overhead shots, everything. I don't know if it's just that I like his style, but he makes a damn good movie. Um, Patrick and Vera are back, Lorraine and Ed, and I just love their story. I love them as a couple. I buy it. It's wonderful. And even with all the religious undertones and everything, like, like I, I don't even care. Like, I'm in. I'm in. And The Nun is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I was so scared to lose Ed, especially at the hands of that nun. Um, and, but I, I was really shocked because I remember when they were sitting at the breakfast table, I could see like little letters off to the side. And I was like, why do I keep seeing a V and a K? And I, I don't think I would have come up with that name, but I definitely remember seeing the letters. And then when she was carving it into her Bible, I definitely saw that too. And the nun is terrifying. And I know that there's a movie that's called the nun. It's going to scare the shit out of me. I don't know who directed that, but I hope it's James Wan. Man, can he make a movie. Oh my God, he's so good. So good. I'm invigorated. I'm invigorated. Every single time I watch one of his movies, I'm energized afterwards. It's where, like, with Annabelle, I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, it scared the crap out of me. This one, like, 
it gets me like revved, like I'm sweating, like I'm getting visceral responses from watching the movie. Um, definitely the, the little girl that played Janet, let me see what her name is. Madison Wolf. I, I don't know who that is and I don't know what else she's been in, but she did such an amazing job. Uh, I'm, I'm just impressed so much with some of these child actors, but then, you know, like, like just Vera and Patrick and their job, just what they're able to give, especially Vera. My God, has Vera ever been nominated for anything other than like, I feel like Bates Motel is the only thing that I remember her being nominated for. And I only watched the first season of that show. I think it kind of went off the deep end afterwards. But she's such a great actress. And, like, her ability to emote. So well done. Um, the, the scares that were in this were so good. Just even having the fingers peeling around the painting. Terrifying. And the imagery, and I don't know why he would keep a picture of that nun on his wall. I mean, it's a great painting. How Lorraine doesn't say, hey, I saw her just before you died in a vision. Like, maybe we, we, we don't need this painting in our house. The imagery, just the makeup effects. And then, I don't know, Demon Nun is Bonnie Aaron's. But it says the demon was Joseph Bashara. Okay, so he didn't play the crooked man. So who is the demon that Joseph Bashara played? When was there another demon? I am not sure who Joseph Bashara played. Hmm. Interesting. I do love that every time James Wan has a movie in which Joseph Bashara does the music, that Joseph Bashara has an actual role in the movie. I'm here for it. I'm I'm in on it, and I love it. I I I now I want to watch like Aquaman and see where Joseph Bashara is in Aquaman. He's probably not even in it, but like now I'm kind of on the hunt. I'm on the prowl for more Joseph Bashara. He's my favorite demon. What are you gonna do? I will definitely say that I liked the first movie. I, I guess it's because it was an introduction. I liked the first movie, um, not better. Um, but like ranking wise, I would watch it one and two and skip Annabelle. <laughs> I don't think you need to watch Annabelle, but I also don't know where that leads. So I don't have all the puzzle pieces put together, but I would definitely say that I, I really enjoyed the first movie and the second movie it touched me emotionally because when I thought that there was a chance of losing Ed, even though I know Ed doesn't die in real life, I don't know if they would take the liberty of killing him in a movie. I, I don't know. I, I don't think they would do that necessarily. And the, and the fact that it's based off of true stories, um, I, I, I find it just hard to believe that they'd go in that direction. So part of me didn't want to believe it, but the other part was like really afraid that they were going to do it because they showed him dying twice. So... And I, and I liked that we finally got from the first movie what her vision was that scared her so much that she shut herself in a room for eight days and didn't eat and didn't come out. And, and I'm thrilled that we finally know why and that it has to do with Ed and then the whole Elvis singing thing. I already had a crush on Patrick Wilson, even from Fargo. Like he was great in that. And then having him in this and Insidious, like he's just such a great actor. And then he can also sing. Cool. I saw his rehearsal with Barbra Streisand. And I don't know how you sing in front of Barbra Streisand. It's just, he's such a, a professional, but he was good. He's so good. I didn't realize he was on Broadway. And he's got this amazing set of pipes. Was it showcased as well in here? No, but it gave him the ability to show it off. I'm not going to be mad at it. Wow. I have to look at the poll to see what comes next. But Alex, the Lego guy, gave me a progression of the movies. So um, I, I don't think there's a Conjuring 3, but it's probably like... But I don't know. There's a Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, I think is the name of it. I haven't seen it, obviously, because I don't 
I'm just now getting into the horror genre, but definitely these movies are my jam. Possession movies are my jam. Even though I don't like looking at the possessed in the eye, I still very much like the imagery. I very much like the scares. Like the Crooked Man, I know that that was like an animation, but it was still beautiful, but terrifying at the same time. It was kind of Tim Burton-esque, and I appreciate that because somebody who grew up with Tim Burton movies and then kind of seeing like Jack Skellington kind of movement or like body shape, but then it was very much like, like clay animation, but not. Somewhat stop animation, but not. Um, and even in the beginning when they had the family at Amityville and there was where they would just be in bed and then the gunshot would happen and all of a sudden there's blood and a bullet like hole splatter. There was a scene that just like, you know, split second and it was there. And it was the same thing when everyone was in the basement and they were looking at Lorraine and then they were all just boom towards the mirror. And I just thought that that was so amazing filmmaking, like just it's a way to make something scary without it being like, I don't know, too, too much. It wasn't over the top. It was just like, psh, there it is. I, uh, I hate to sit here and kiss James Wan's ass. And I know he's not the only one that puts it together. There are so many people that come together to make these movies, but like, this is a James Wan movie. It is a film by James Wan. It is directed by James Wan. It was produced by James Wan. It was written by James Wan. Can we just say that it's a James Wan movie? He's brilliant. He really is. I've also probably had a lot of wine, so I'm very loose lips right now. Very, very much. Um, I absolutely love these movies. I know that I need to watch Hereditary and Sinister. I don't know if those are in the same um, genre. Sinister seems like it would be. Hereditary, I'm not sure. Maybe. Um, I don't know who directs them. I don't know who makes them. I, I hope it's in the same realm because I love the way that these are made. I love the storytelling. I love the imagery. Just even having having Bill in the background, but like at first it's Janet and then you can kind of see it shift like very, very subtly into Bill. And the whole time you're focused on Patrick, but you can see it happening in the background. And I think that it's just brilliant filmmaking. I'm very impressed. I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan. Okay, guys, I'll be back for more in the comments. Tell me which one comes next. Just, just let me know which one comes next. Um, if I missed anything, I don't think I did. I was pretty, pretty fucking keen watching this. But if I missed anything or you want me to know anything, even if it's about the true story about Lorraine and Ed, let me know. I feel like this is going to ruminate it with me a little bit and I'm, I'm going to have to sit with it. And then I'm going to end up saying like, you know what? Actually, Conjuring 2 was better because I already feel like that's coming out. Um... I feel like I feel like I could watch both of those movies together and just love the entire like four and a half hours of watching it. <laughs> so like, subscribe, go to my Instagram, Funny Little Gal Reacts. I have conversations over there all the time about stuff. Uh, I am loving this series. I am not tired of it whatsoever. I want more. <laughs> so with that being said, I'll see ya.